Hey everyone, Surreal K9 freaking thing. It's like right when I start recording, it decides to do this. Anyway, Surreal K9 here. Coming at you live with more Disgaea 3. Absence of detention, except it's not really live because this isn't a stream, but you know, details. Got some pretzels here. Mm, tasty. They're, uh, Bachman pretzels, apparently. Anyway. <laughs> Here we are in Mal's heart, clearing out his subconscious. Whoops. Still recording from the future, I lost all of my original footage from uh, chapters 6, 7, and 8, and my redo of chapter 6 was uh, not really the best quality sound-wise in the world, so I'm doing this again with my uh, awesome microphone and stuff. And we are going to go to Howl of Agony. There are various types of subconscious that suppress one's potential abilities within the heart. Weakness, prejudice, disbelief, and pride. So pretty much Mao's shadow, right? Mao and his crew journeyed through the heart and with some cooperation cleared the subconscious obstacles one by one. But after a while, they came to a realization. Subconsciouses are cautious and cowardly. They live in hidden corners of the heart that even Mao himself cannot find. Once they realized this, they decided to head towards the remote frontier. And thus, Mao and his crew finally arrived. The hidden village of the heart in the frontier, where the subconsciouses gather. This is it, right? My heart's secret village. This is a convenient thing to have. <laughs> if we annihilate everyone in this hidden village, we can bring out more of Mouse potential powers, right? Oh, that doesn't sound ominous. It sucks to let Mao get ahead of me, but it's a badass's job to help a rival grow. So let's do this! If only this convenience can accompany Sir Mao's heart opening up, it'll kill two birds with one stone. It's a kitty! Little kitty! Please, I beg you, leave us alone! Nothing good will come from dragging out your potential powers! I don't want to! I don't want to! I don't want to! I don't want to! My subconsciouses disobey me? I'm bringing my potential powers to their fullest glory! It's only proper that you willingly cooperate with me! Now die! Pep and I got stripes here, trying to get my attention. <laughs> You're such a cute cat. All right, 6-2. I think you can probably see what we're doing here. These guys are all invincible until you clear their geoblocks, so no cheating by using Big Bang here. Don't mess you up! Rah! I'm probably going to be using Mao along with the uh, Mao and Gary along with Commander Video for this, just because. Uh, I need somebody with good throwing. This is the end. This is the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> power. Don't mess you up. <laughs> there. Oh yeah, the solo geocubes have uh, 
have helpful effects for us. These deaths here, they specialize in magic attacks. And as you can see, they don't know any healing spells, so... Uh, so if you stand on one of the Geo Cubes and let them just target you, they can heal you for pretty much free. And we're gonna be taking... we would be taking advantage of that if I wasn't on the New Game Plus, but since I am, I can just kind of, you know, tank everything with my face like a cow. And we are going to do this. And if you don't know what tanking everything with your face like a cow means, uh, you obviously have not watched enough Canadian Let's Plays. <laughs> it is Raukow's patented strategy of just taking a hit and running past every obstacle in his way. He only fights properly when he really needs to. <clears throat> it's so much more manly to tank things with your face. That's one death taken care of, mostly. Super Dimension Man actually take a hit from something? I wasn't paying attention. This worries me. like that thing I do when I play Final Fantasy 3 on the NES and I just uh, set it to auto battle and uh, speed past everything and when I unspeed the, the game it's like who killed Alex? Why is Alex dead? Etc etc. Named one of my guys Alex. The first guy in the Order of Heroes because his name starts with an A. I don't think I can actually do that here. I'm clear. Oh, for a second I was like, he only has 500 HP? That doesn't sound right. And it turns out indeed it wasn't. It was wrong. Which is the opposite of right. I am Captain Obvious here to save the day. <laughs> What is it these guys are doing that do so much damage to my, uh... I don't know... This worries me... Ah! Ah! 
Did you just call me retarded? That's rude. This game is politically incorrect. Whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Blah. The game has made a mockery of my face. It cannot allow this to stand. Video game. You are making me annoyed. That is not always a good thing. Just a warning you might want to think about. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna spoil it. We can find out in the next video. It only seems fitting to have Mouse strike the final blow, though. Oh, I feel overflowing power surging from the depths of my body! So this is what it feels like to release your potential! I feel every evil fiber of my being! I hope it's not just your imagination again. You are pretty quick to make assumptions, after all. Are you blind? Look at this! The super moves I wasn't able to use before are all available to me now! Oh, you're right. Cool. Mao learned a new attack, which we'll be seeing in the next video. Now, it looks like you might be able to stand up against the DS gentleman. Indeed. It was time well spent, and it produced a good broad. Boom! <laughs> Pretty good, Mao. That's why you're my rival. <laughs> looks like I made you meddle in more of my work. You don't need to thank me. It's just volunteer work. It's all a piece of cake to me. Then it's a good thing I didn't thank you. But the way you adhere to your delinquent ways, when you're that persistent, it's almost admirable. Huh? Now? Did you all hear that? I heard it all right, Princess. Still cynical in most ways, but it sounded like he complimented me. Maybe one of those subconsciouses we defeated made him more honest. Which might mean that Sir Mao's heart could be open now. To the vault! No, it's too hard to tell. We've already had our hopes shattered too many times by speculating. Don't be so pessimistic, Almaz. To the vault! What's a man who's gonna become a hero being so negative for? Let's go check it out! Miss Beryl's right. If there's a remote chance, 
We shouldn't miss it. But it's only a remote chance. <laughs> Alright, I say it's time to heal up and end this recording for now. In next episode, I'll be showing off Mal's new move. And then, we'll be heading into the Heart Vault and seeing if it is open. Not necessarily in that order, because you know every time we go to the Heart Vault there's going to be a boss fight or something. <laughs> so yeah. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.